Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a retained subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're back with another video. I am so excited about this video, you guys. I've been wanting to film it for literal years now, but I think this is perfect timing because today, when this video goes live, it is the three-year anniversary of me completing my bachelor's degree in computer science. That is so wild. So I thought it'd be really fun to reminisce, take a trip down memory lane, go through my modules with you guys and rank them on a tier list. I have videos breaking down my first year and second year modules. I'll have that link down below as well as a full computer science playlist if that's something that interests you. I never got around to filming a full breakdown of my third year modules and I probably never will. So this is gonna be the video that completes the computer science series. If you don't know, I'm currently doing my master's in digital marketing and analytics. So if you guys would like a video of me breaking down my marketing modules let me know because I would love to make one. Before we get into it please subscribe to my channel we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers you guys and I would really appreciate it and without further ado let's get straight into it. So for those of you who are new and don't know, I actually attended two different universities over the course of my degree. I started my degree at the University of the Witwatersrand, that's for short, in 2018. And I completed my first year there and I did about half of second year. Then I transferred to the University of Sussex, restarted my second year and completed my degree there. So my courses at WITS weren't solely programming courses. I did a lot of maths modules, think algebra, multivariate, calculus, applied mathematics. For the sake of this video, I'm going to focus solely on the computer science modules that I did and I'm going to exclude all those other modules. I'm also going to exclude all of the second year modules that I had done at FITS just because I didn't technically complete them. Also, it has been a few years since I did any of these modules. Like the ones at FITS, it's literally been like six years. So there's a chance that some of these modules may not actually be taught at either university anymore or that the syllabus has has changed and looks nothing like what it looked like when I was there. So just bear that in mind. And disclaimer, these are just my own opinions, you guys. And you guys know that I was never really a computer science stan. I kind of did it because I didn't know what else to study. Take my opinions with a grain of salt. If you liked a module that I hated, I love that for you. I love that you loved it. I'm just going to speak from my own personal experience and my personal preferences. It's not meant to be serious. This is just a fun video. Also, because it's been a few years, my memories of these modules are very hazy. I'm really just gonna go off of vibes and how I felt at the time doing them rather than the actual content because I don't remember half of it. Cool, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and look at my tears. I watch these videos all the time, so I am so excited to do one of my own. So at the top, we've got that girl. The module was just that girl. She was the it girl, she was the moment, and we love her. Then we've got vibing. These are just modules that were like going well, I was vibing with, I don't really have anything bad to say but they're just not that girl. Then we've got meh, your neutral module. I don't really have a strong opinion on you. You were there and I completed you and we're good. Then we have regretting my life choices. These are the modules that made me question why I chose computer science in the first place. Then we've got snooze. I think a lot of modules are gonna go under snooze because I was a sleepy girl in class. I was sleepy. I was bored. This wasn't interesting to me at all. So that is how we're gonna be ranking them. At the bottom we've just got all of my courses. We've got 18 over here. So we're gonna start out with my first year modules at FITS, Basic Computer Organization. Now, the only thing I remember about this module is binary numbers. I just remember zeros and ones. And I remember having a decent lecture. I remember the class being okay. I actually went through my FITS transcript and my Sussex transcript so that I could look at my grades. I did pretty well in this module. I got an A for it. And I won't lie, the modules that I did well in are probably gonna rank higher just because I like things that I'm good at. I don't really have any standout moments for this module, so I think I'm just gonna put it in meh. I tried to go on the VITS website to look at the module descriptions, but I couldn't find them on the website, so I don't really have any like memories of the actual course content. Then we've got introduction to algorithms and programming. Now this I have positive memories about. For reference, I had coded a little bit in high school, but not a lot. I did weekly lessons with one of my teachers, but I didn't actually take IT as a subject, so when I started at VITS, I had 
like very minimal programming experience and I'd done just a little bit of Java. But in this class, we were introduced to C++. That is really where I feel like I remember starting to learn how to code. So for that reason, I have a very soft spot in my heart for C++. And I liked my lecturer. I liked the weekly tasks that we did. It was just simple stuff. It was just if statements, for loops, you know, the vibes. For that, I'm gonna go and vibing. Then in second semester, we had discrete computational structures. What did we do in this class? I just remember true and false statements. That is all I remember. That is so bad. I really wish I could have like seen the full syllabus breakdown for this. We can just put in meh. Then we've got introduction to data structures and algorithms. This was a module that I struggled with a fair bit. What I primarily remember is learning linked lists and basically just spending the whole time drawing little diagrams to figure out how the linked list worked. I did well in the end. I got an A for that module, but I do remember struggling quite a bit. Maybe I did regret my life decisions a little bit at that time, but was it really that serious? I, you know, I think she's a meh. I think she's a meh. Then we transferred to University of Sussex. There was a lot less mathematics courses, so I was a happy girl. But then six months later, the pandemic hit and we had online classes and that was just not really a vibe. But starting off with first semester when I was on campus, we had a module called Compilers and Computer Architecture. This module, I wouldn't even do it today. I have zero desire to revisit it. I don't want to even really think about it. Like that was just one of the worst modules that I ever did. So for that reason, it has to go into regretting my life choices because, huh? Even looking at the course breakdown and lexical analysis and parsing, that was not for me. Then we had natural language engineering. Now this one, I have like a 50-50 mix on because I think at the time it was quite challenging. It was a lot of late nights in the labs. But then later on, I ended up actually using a lot of the things that we learned in my final year project. So I do think it was a useful module at least for me because I actually ended up using it in something. So if you don't know, basically we were just processing text and kind of like analyzing the words in text. I'm gonna put it in meh because I have a lot of complicated feelings about the module and I feel like it balances out to be in the middle. I don't think Sussex offers this module anymore because I went on the website yesterday and I saw that it was replaced by data science. I'm actually quite interested to see if I would have enjoyed data science more. I'm sure data science is equally if not even harder than this module, but that is an interesting change that they did. Then we've got databases. Now, databases was a little bit of a cheat code for me because I had actually done databases in first semester of second year at WITS. I don't remember if I wrote the exam or not, but I did enough of databases to be comfortable with them. So when I went to Sussex, it was pretty much just like relearning the things that I already knew. So that was great because instead of spending all my time doing databases, I was actually able to like focus on things that I found more challenging and harder. I do like databases and databases came in clutch when I did my computer science project in third year. So I do think it was one of the most valuable modules that I did and I did pretty well in the class as well. So we're good with databases. We like her. Then we have program analysis. And when I was reading through my transcript, I had no memory of this module. I was like, when did I do this? What is this? And it confused me even more when I saw my grade and I saw I had an A in a class that I don't remember taking. After I went through the module overview on Sussex's website, it kind of started coming back to me. I remember who my lecturer was. Our lecturer was so fun. He was so fun. Like he really made the classes so engaging. So basically this module was a lot of analysis of algorithms. So you've got best, worst, and expected case analysis of algorithms, basic graph algorithms. I do like graph theory. We actually did matrices and graph theory in matric or grade 12 for my AP maths class and I really enjoyed graph theory so I can see why I liked this module and why I had a good grade in it. So I think I'll put that in vibing. So that completes semester one. On to semester two where everything hit the fan. Starting off with computer networks. How do I say things in a nice way? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I think it was a boring module in my opinion. It's not interesting to me. It just isn't and I don't think it ever will be. I have to put computer networks in snooze. Software engineering. I really don't have have memories about like what did we learn in class the only thing I remember learning in class was like how to do a Gantt chart that's like the only thing 
that pops into my memory. I just feel like we did more of theoretical how to do a software engineering project instead of me feeling like I actually was doing the software engineering project, if you know what I mean. So maybe regretting life choices. Then we've got operating systems, another snooze fest. This was about process management, memory management, file systems. Yeah, I'm sorry. Snooze, 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 snooze. Then we've got fundamentals of machine learning, which is actually not a module anymore. It has now been replaced with applied machine learning. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I'm assuming the new one seems a little bit harder. Fundamentals versus applied. I don't know. It sounds harder. But focusing on fundamentals of machine learning, I think the concept of machine learning is really cool. I wish it was something I was good at. It's just not. So for that reason, that obviously impacts my grading. This one, I think I'll put in meh. Actually, no, let me not lie. I'm going to put in regretting my life choices. It's hard for me to enjoy modules that I'm not thriving in. I usually feel like for me to really enjoy a module, I have to be like doing well in it. I think because it was such a struggle and also it was a pandemic course, it has to be in regretting my life choices. I think I wanted to drop out at that point. Now we have third year. This is where I had fully remote classes, but I definitely did enjoy third year a lot more than second year. But we're gonna start with one that I didn't really enjoy, comparative programming. What I remember from this module is Haskell, and that's it. I don't really remember a lot of this module, what it was about, just reading through the breakdown. Something about functional programming, I don't really know. It has to be a snooze for me, I'm so sorry. Then we've got human computer interaction. Now this module, I had so much fun with. This module was really focused on the user experience, and user-centered design, which I really enjoyed. We did prototypes as well using Adobe XD, and I did such a fun prototype of my project, and I really had a lot of fun with this module. Our tutor, was our tutor or our lecturer? I can't remember, but he was actually doing his PhD in human-computer interaction, and in another life, I would probably be doing that because that is how much fun I had with this module. Human-computer interaction, you're that girl. On to introduction to computer security. This was so funny to me when I was going through my transcript, because I sound like great and I got an A in this class, but for some reason, I just don't really have positive memories associated with this module. Initially, when I thought about it, I remembered being bored. So initially, it was going to go in the snooze category. But then I remembered we learned a lot of methods about encryption and decryption. That was kind of interesting and kind of fun. So I kind of feel like I need to rank it higher. I think we also thought, though, that we were going to leave this module with like hacking skills. And I feel like whenever I meet somebody and I tell them I did computer science, Seven out of 10 times, they're gonna ask me, oh, do you know how to hack? And it's like, no, no, I don't know how to hack. So I don't think that module really lived up to my expectations. So I'm gonna put intro to computer security in meh because it's in the middle for me. Then we've got limits of computation. What do I even remember from this module? This module addresses fundamental questions of computing, like what is computable and what is feasibly computable. Based off of that description, how interesting does that sound to you? I'm so sorry, it has to be a snooze. Then we've got technology enhanced learning environments. So this was actually an optional module in my spring semester. So the options were advanced natural engineering, which I was never going to do after I did natural language engineering the first time. Then we had neural networks, web 3D applications, and web applications and services. I went with technology enhanced learning environments. It was basically about looking at digital technologies and how you can use them to facilitate learning. I figured it was probably going to be the easier one. And I stand by that decision because sometimes you need to work smarter, not harder. And it was 100% coursework, no exam. So I really do think it was a chill module. I don't really remember what my project was. You know what? I think I've mixed up my projects. The one that I thought I did for human computer interaction, I think is what I did for this one. I don't know, but I had fun with this one. So I'm going to put her in that girl. Okay, on to the last one. Then we have our computer science project. So this was basically my final year project that I worked on throughout the entire year. And I really had so much fun with it. I had a really great supervisor. He actually came up with the best project like I won't even lie, I didn't come up with the idea. He came up with the idea and it was so me, it's so ridiculous. One thing that I recommend when doing a final year project or even a dissertation is to pick something that you're actually really interested in because when you're working on something day in and day out, like with this project, I had so many sleepless nights of me just sitting and coding. It has to be something you're really passionate about and really interested in in order for it to be an enjoyable experience. So I'm so glad I had such a fun experience with that one. That was definitely the highlight of my degree. 
stream. So she has to go in that girl. So those are all of my computer science modules ranked. Looking at the ranking, I think it's very indicative of just my experience with this degree. In retrospect, was it the degree for me? Is it a degree I should have chosen? Maybe not. This is what happens when you get a 16 year old to pick their degree. I do think I am much happier in my little marketing bubble. I do think this tier list will look very different for my marketing modules. I think we would have a lot more in the that girl and vibing sections. Overall, I'm still happy that I did the degree because I learned a lot of transferable skills. We still had a few gems in those three years, so I'm not mad at it. And at the end of the day, I passed and I did well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!